Thank you very much. There is a time in every musician's life, and for that matter, every music lover's life, when we are so open and so attuned to our emotions and the world around us that we are able to feel music for the first time with the intensity of a divine gift. It happens when we're young, usually, or around adolescence. It's before the imagination's been dulled by cultural pollutants or sated with excess and mediocrity, and we hear and feel in a way that will affect us for the rest of our lives. It was such a time in my life that I heard sincerely by the moon glows. I was listening to Alan Freed's Moondog show and the music he was playing was called Rhythm and Blues. The term rock and roll hadn't been coined yet. The year was 1955, about a half decade past the era when black music was called race records. About a decade past the end of World War II. I remember the end of the Second World War. The people were dancing in the street, and I was about three years old, and I asked my mother, why are they dancing? And she said, because the war is over. And I said, what war? And I didn't know anything. And uh, now it's 55 years later, and it's official. I still don't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> but back in 1955, I knew something magical was happening when I heard the slow bass line of Prentice Barnes, and after a few bars, Harvey Fuqua and Pete Graves joined in with the harmony, that voit, voit riff, vocal riff that I've stolen on many occasions. And finally, Bobby Lester began to sing the lead in his beautiful tenor voice, and I have never forgotten it. It's true that the McGuire Sisters cover version went to number one of the pop charts instead of the Moon Glows, siphoning off some of the glory. And yes, Alan Freed took writer's credit on some of the songs, siphoning off some of the royalties. But being on chess records, you probably weren't going to get much of those royalties anyway. <laughs> Well, life isn't fair, and look, it's taken all this time for this great group to be recognized here. So we shrug and say, that's the way it is, nothing's perfect, and... But to me, sincerely, by the moon glows, is perfect. I'm honored to induct the Moonglows into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame.